Hello again viewers to the Hotel Calabona, Mallorca. I finally made it here. What a journey it has been to get here, my goodness. Anyway, we're here. I'll give you my first impressions of the hotel. I'll show you around the room. We're in a superior room with a city view. Now, I like the way they put in the city view. That's always going to be interesting. What's behind the curtain? Is it a one night room or is it a good room? Hmm, show you in a minute. Um, let me tell you who this is booked through as well. A very unusual company for hotels. I never normally book. Um, I'll tell you how much I paid for it. Let's go. Okay, so first impressions are the room's really nice. I like the room. Uh, no complaints whatsoever. Good size. Aircon, Wi-Fi. Staff at reception are lovely, very friendly. Um, kettle for tea and coffee, I'd imagine. They've got a fridge, which I've just put a bottle of water in as well. We'll show you the balcony in a minute, the big reveal in a minute. Um, let me show you the bathroom as well. There's five different blocks in this hotel. I think the hotel was built in the 1920s. Um, so it's really AG Mel, I'd say. It's a really nice hotel. What's in here? We've got a safe, I think. Yeah, safe. Plenty of hangers here, actually. Pillows up the top here. Um, let me show the bathroom. The bathroom's quite nice. Keycard system. Um, walk in, shower, that's pretty good. Any mobility issues, you can walk straight in. No steps, no bath or anything like that. You can walk straight in, looks pretty good to me. Brand details are just not there. HCB, Hotel Calabona, nice. Hair dryer. Yeah, really good size this room, um, no complaints whatsoever. First impressions, I'm going to have a really comfortable night in here, but there's always one issue, isn't there? There's always one issue. Let me show you outside in a minute. There's some building work going on outside. They've actually got a room that's not going to be affected as badly as some other rooms, but there is pros and cons on this one. Let me tell you how much I paid for it. Okay, so 28 degrees outside, roasting, and I've just spent about four hours on a bus getting here because I took the wrong bus. You've probably seen that video by now. <laughs> um, this is one of the hotel chains where it's not the cheapest always to book through the official website. The way I found this is the same way I find every other hotel deal. I pushed the boat out in this one. I paid a lot more than the other hotels because I've got a uh, family, Fiona and Alfie, staying next door in the hotel. They said it's really nice. The Cantina something, Del Rey, uh, they said it's really nice as well. So it was a to do with location here and I wanted to stay in this hotel because I've got family who have previously stayed here before as well and lots of viewers requested that I pop in here and show it. So, booked it through lastminute.com which really should be a website designed based on my experiences here, um, lastminute.com. I've never booked through before, I was a bit dubious because just wasn't sure how the booking system worked but it was absolutely fine. Half board, so I've got breakfast and evening meal. I went on to TripAdvisor. I clicked the Hotels tab, I typed in Calabona, I filtered the prices low to high and then I found out that the Hotel Calabona for bed and breakfast roughly was about £78 through lastminute.com and I upgraded myself to half board to do a wee dinner video for you, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't, I might be going out for dinner tonight so I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, it was €3 Euros extra, so about £2.65 extra for dinner, what a bargain, so £81 for breakfast, evening meal, really nice hotel, um, but not the best room. Although this is a superior room, you probably want a better room than this for the balcony and the sun. It's just after three o'clock. Let's see if there's any sun outside. You might hear the building work. Here's the big curtain reveal. Prepare yourself, drum roll, drum roll. There's a few stains in the curtains. I've noticed as well, that's not really gonna bother me. I'm just letting you know. Um, Okay, the big reveal. Here is the balcony, table and chairs. You might hear the, the drilling from the building up nearby. Yeah, you can hear it. There'll be worse rooms for this, mind you. So this is what they call a city view. I like how they do that, a city view. Uh, <laughs> it's not that bad, actually. Um, but there does seem to be a lack of sun here. I'm not sure if this room ever gets the sun. You don't really have any privacy because you're facing people right across from you. 
is one of the main roads at the side there as well. So maybe the sun's been here earlier on and now it's just disappeared. I'm not 100% sure, I'm leaving first thing in the morning so I won't be able to tell you. Building much annoying but... Yeah, I mean that would be an issue if you're here for a fortnight and you had that building up, that could be one issue that would really affect your holiday. Um, but the hotel itself, the room's lovely, the staff are lovely. We'll see what the food's like. I'll film the breakfast for you in the morning, see if I can make my way out here. I'll see if I can film the breakfast in the morning for you and let you know what it's like. I'll also do videos. I'll also do videos showing you the location of the hotel. Location's brilliant, it's right on the seafront. And you can walk to Cala Malor in under 20 minutes. Um, it's a beautiful walk right along the promenade. I've got another video which I'll leave up here if you want to see how to get to this hotel from Cala Malor. Um, it's a beautiful walk. So, first impressions, really nice hotel, really nice staff. We'll see what the food's like. The balcony could be better, but this is going to be a comfortable room for the night. So, first impressions, pretty good. If anything changes, I'll let you know. But at the moment, I'm saying I'll come back here, definitely. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Check out all the other videos on the channel up there. We'll see you in the next one, okay?